All right, I'm making this video just to show what books I have, and uh, maybe this video could be useful for me in the future. So you can read these. I'll try to go fast and it can be paused so someone can see a book that they may want or may need. Okay. Okay. Or if somebody thinks they can sell it for a certain price, um, I would be more than happy to get some assistance with that. Some of these are upside down, and some of these will not be for sale. But I wanted to uh, show them. The writing looks kind of small on the camcorder, but I know once this gets bigger and someone can do full size, they'll be able to read this stuff a lot better. Which I hope so. Like I said, you can use the pause if I'm going too quick. Alright, that's the bookshelf. I'll just start down here and work my way up. I said, like, a lot of these are probably resources. These are the uh, word pictures, and this is the expository Greek. Probably keep those, but show everything just just in case there might be something I'd be willing to sell and somebody wants. I think most of these Greek and Hebrew resources I'll probably hang on to. Then we have the word biblical commentaries. This book I'm going to keep. Most of these Wesley resources I'm going to keep, but just to be thorough. So it's kind of like watching this video is kind of like just going to a library and kind of just scanning through and like, hey, what's that? You know, oh, that's the Pocket History of Theology by Olson and uh, English, it looks like. Another dogmatic theology that may be of interest to somebody. Not as interested in the Protestant theology, uh, systematic theology texts. At this point, I'm more interested in ancient sources, primary sources of early Christianity and uh, throughout church history. Hopefully this stuff can be read. I don't be wasting my time here. It looks like a uh, Lightfoot Gospel of John. These are Nazarene resources. A lot of older holiness literature that I picked up. I have quite the collection here of those two shelves at least. And I feel like I can't read those very well. I'll, I'll skip up here again for a second. Okay. Uh, once again, I'm sorry if it's moving too quick and it's not even very clear. Down here we have the theological Dictionary of the New Testament, quite the volume, and then a Greek and English lexicon by Little and Scott. Um, 
Yeah, I already showed the book out of the way. Box, I mean. These are like Old Testament resources. We have some works of Luther. All right, on the next shelf. Some of these things you probably can't see very well. I do apologize. If it looks like something like Yes, it's kind of difficult to see some of that stuff because of uh, the zoom, but and hopefully this turns out better than I thought. But I'm generally showing these. Two or three more uh, cases to go. This is about Colts. Stuff like that. Okay. And when I was at Nazare Bible College, I had uh, collected a lot of books for 50 cents a quarter. It really pays to have uh, those types of connections. Books should be donated to the college, and the college would go through them and determine what they may want for their own collection, and then they put the rest in a back room. Not because they're naturally bad, but maybe because they already have that volume. I actually picked up, uh, and I'll show it here shortly, the uh, volume of the uh, Church Fathers, which you probably have already seen some. I'm a little disorganized down here right now. You all know what this is. Yeah. Maybe I'll give those books a quick read through tonight, right? For a little light reading. <laughs> uh. Sorry, an eight minute video. It'd be boring for somebody who doesn't care. Yeah, I picked up the, these volumes that have like kind of clips from different sources. I was kind of upset over buying that because uh, I was looking for one particular source and uh, it only had like 20 out of 80 pages of the actual source. They were just. Uh, clips unfortunately and here's some anti-catholic material though I do have some others they may have seen on the other shelves Once again, some of these I'd be willing to sell, and some I would not. But you know, who knows? Maybe I have a fire in my house, and I have a video of all the books that I lost. Here's the volume of the fathers. So I have some more down here. Now these are not for sale. I have uh, both uh, Protestant, because you know here's the works of Arminius, and uh, Catholic resources. These are more like your self-help, relational uh, type books.
perhaps someone will be able to tell me, hey, you know, you could sell that book for 30 bucks, you know? Others may tell me, well, that book there, you know, you can find 12 of them online for a penny a piece. Alrighty. These are a commentary. Commentary, okay? Commentary. Here are some uh, resources from other religions. All right, just a couple, three more shelves here. And these are chess books here on the right. I like to collect those at one time. I apologize that these aren't in any particular order. Some were just placed. Of course, I got a big book here. Gotta love uh, an exhaustive concordance. Okay, and I do have some other ones here that are not on the shelf presently. So I'll go ahead and show those. It's a good one there. Another of the fathers there. This one's Augustine. And another uh, Wesley Works Sermons Volume 3. And uh, self help books that I've collected. This is a good set here, but uh, that's not for sale. Another uh, Augustine. So this one was a gift and it was definitely worth keeping too. This is a fair book to have if you're interested in uh, Roman Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, the, the issues that are um, between the two, looking at the historical issues. I like this simply for the picture here. It just brings me to the, the books that I know after going through my library, which ones I'd be willing to get rid of immediately. Sorry, the lighting is not very good. This one's a duplicate. I used this for my biblical interp interpretation class in Nazarene Bible College. Something I know I will never read. Some of these I'm just unfamiliar with the author and content. Duplicate. 
a book that I'm uh, pretty certain has uh, inaccurate historical information about persecutions of heretics. <laughs> don't know why this volume seems so small. You can see that the text is decent size, not too small, but I have a two volume set that includes all of that. So, sorry, this is going. I'm going to try to speed up a little bit now because you could always pause if you want. So, I do apologize. If something catches your eye, you can always pause it. That guy was really smart. Fulton Sheen. This is a non theology book, but it's such basic investing concepts that it's the point of having it. This is a, a novel about the English Reformation. This is another one, a novel. Yes, That's, that that was for one of my classes in Anthony Bible College. Seventeen minutes. Who's gonna watch this whole thing? Well, watch if you want to. I don't care. Be there waiting for you. These are recent texts. This one and this one are recent texts for a uh, biblical interpretation of a biblical authority. It's Wesley Biblical Seminary. These next texts were used in the worship class at Nazareth Bible College. Um, I actually ended up not taking that class because I was moving and I need to... Uh... Okay, so that's most of my books. Um, if I have some more, I'll just uh, amend them here shortly. Here's some additional sources that I have in my upstairs here. These two are gifts, so I'll probably definitely hang on to them. I read this one. It's very good. Uh, very good if you're interested in looking at the uh, reasonableness of the uh, history of Christ. And, of course, we'll finish off with a nice icon of Christ. Love it. All right. Uh, thank you for watching.